Happy Friday, everyone that's out there. I'm going to hit it. I turned up my fucking headphones here a little bit because I couldn't hear shit. I'm going to hit it real quick for a motherfucking uh, out of nowhere starting the beginning of the show. Motherfucking DJ New Kid. Cheers, fucking uh, DJ New Kid. Happy fucking America's birthday or day after and shit. Uh, I still have my makeup on from last night. I, I didn't. I never took it off and shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, representing here, man. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's still, it's all the way on down here in my beard and shit. It's actually come, uh, uh, it's actually come, the cunt. Oh, yeah, Oh, my God, and this thing is super fucking strong. All right, let me hit it for the cunt who's also here. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slop ready, cause the cunt is here. Chairs a cut. And Super Saiyan Joku is here. Let me hit it for the motherfucker. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Cheers, motherfuckers. I'm glad you motherfuckers are here celebrating another Friday with y'all. Hope y'all had a good, safe holiday, and then you have to go back to work the very next fucking day. That must have been a lot of fun for y'all motherfuckers. There's a lot of killings over here, a lot of deaths, and some kids died too. Like, innocent bystanders got shot. I don't know, maybe they asked for it. Maybe the kid threw the finger at some gangster, and the gangster got mad. I don't know, but there's children died, and that was really bad. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm, I stayed inside. I stayed indoors. I said, hey, but we stay indoors. Nothing bad's going to happen. We won't go to jail. And I stayed in the house. I wasn't going to fuck around. I'm telling you right now. When you look like this, you're asking for fucking trouble, motherfuckers. <laughs> Cheers! I just danced around naked in front of the mirror. Drunk as fuck. I felt like Britney Spears and shit. Oh, yeah. Cheers. All right, all right. Word of advice and shit. We do have our fucking channels and shit. And this past uh, unfortunate uh, weekend when we were streaming AEW, the stream was fucked. And uh, I don't know why. They sabotaged us. I fucked around with it all fucking week. And then um, I think I finally got it to the point where uh, I, I think it's like I got it fixed or whatever. But we'll find out, you know, next time there's an AEW pay-per-view and it fucks up again, then they're, they're, they're fucking with us. Uh, but this Saturday on the emergency, oh, not on the emergency, I'm sorry, I don't know why I paused it. I mean, the emergency is in case we get blocked, you know, we can always go to that one. Um, in the illegal underground broadcast channel, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, American times, for y'all motherfucking forwarders on the chat. Ah, uh, yeah, cheers a cut. 
my Oh, Anthony Timmons is here, this fucking piglet fucking hog motherfucker, and I'm in it for this guy. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers, if I get a bigger stream deck one of these days, I'm gonna have intros for the rest of y'all motherfuckers. But that's it! No more intros right now, because there's no space <laughs> on none of these. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, join us. Saturday, we'll be watching it and, and fucking around and shit. No sound, unfortunately, no sound. Um, but yeah, that'll happen or whatever, so everyone knows. But let's get into it, uh, you motherfuckers, because y'all yeah, left a lot of comments and ass. Uh, our social media is at Sunaman665 for the, the X and at the Underground Broadcast uh, for the fucking uh, IG. Um, we're not doing the we're, we're, the TikTok is there, but we're not uploading shit anymore. God damn it, those motherfuckers! I don't want to keep go over it anymore, but it's still there. You know, it's, we're just not fucking with it anymore. All right, we don't fuck with that shit. Whatever you send me, we'll post here. Just like Gomer Kyle, he wanted me to send you a message to all y'all motherfuckers tonight. Gomer Kyle is not usually on in here. He's, he's like one of the first that's on here, uh, but he's not here tonight. Here goes a message for you all. From the grave. No, nah, no, nah, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, he's fine. He's fine, everybody. But he sent me this message. He sent me this message. Here we go. Yo, fellas, I can't be there tonight for the show. We're going to Chattanooga. But I'll catch replays. And uh, go woke pack. And Trump 2024. Peace. Oh, yeah. Live. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Gomer. Gomer fucking sent us a message and shit. That was badass, Gomer. You fucking guy. Um, and Joku sent me this uh, earlier. <laughs> fucking guy. Joku sent me this on IG. He says, Son of man, the underground broadcast. I'm bringing boobies, buds, and blunts. Let's stay blessed, bitches. Cheers. Mall flowers. Hashtag. Live. Shit, I'm gonna spill this crap. Let me move it a little bit further. Uh, hashtag THC, hashtag marijuana, hashtag roll up, hashtag light ups, hashtag smoke up, hashtag smoke weed every day. Ah, oh, yeah. Let me see. Let me see what you what you brought along here. Let me let me fucking slow this bitch down so we can all see. Okay. Uh, he's got a bunch of uh, rolling papers, a bag full of weed from the hood with some pre-rolls in there already. Uh, and then something that says white run C cannabis flower weight, three point three and a half grams, uh, something one point twenty five ounce C A. Is that from Cali? Is that what that means? And they're like titties, and you open them up, and there's the, those the, the but hey, hey, that looks like bud from the hood. I think they ripped you off, man. Did you paid for the package? That's what's going on. Those titties, that's what you paid for, because that doesn't look that good, motherfucker. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyways, uh, then it's like this thing that says Bob Dogs. Oh shit, car car caramel gelato. H C. And TAC, that's some of the gummies that I took. I fucking feel amazing right now. I feel like I'm fucking floating in the sky. I'm not even playing. I'm like, like a firecracker in the sky. I feel like that, that Katy Perry song and shit. I'm a firework. Uh, baby, I'm a firework. I feel fucking amazing on these fucking gummy shits, man. They were like fruit roll-ups and they taste like apple and ass. I hate the aftertaste. I had to go brush my teeth because so, I hate the way it tastes. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Fuck your seven grams. I would never, ever buy this because it's probably coming out of a dog's ass. That's they would put the picture right there, you fucking guy. God damn it. What did it look like? Did it look like shit? Because <laughs> it could smell like caramel, but that doesn't mean it's caramel. That's all I'm saying, fucking Joku. Uh, you got to be careful with that kind of shit. All right, look at the picture. There's a dog on it. <laughs> Anyways. 
He's got the blunts ready. He's already started smoking it. He doesn't even care if it's dog ass. He doesn't care, folks. Uh, that's badass, Joku. You're that shit. I'm gonna play your fucking intro again, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Cheers, Joku. Ah, the strain Labrador. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, um. Thank you for sending me that, Joku. That was badass. Let's get into the comments this evening. We're going to start with our old friend, Colin Larson, 9656. This fucking guy and shit. He was asking where you been, fool, and I and I and I told him. And uh, and I don't know. He never replied. <laughs> Cheers, Kellen Larson, you fucking crazy guy from the army. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see who else. Who else left the comments? Oh, Anthony Windham. I remember this guy. 96665. This fucking guy. I missed the live show. I had to work. But I got some 120 milligram gummies to chill. And watch the fucking show. Oh. Did he watch the last, the last podcast? He watched it. He watched it. That's fucking badass. 120 milligrams. Look, I'm going to tell you one thing about the gummies. I don't know if I like him 100%. Uh, because it is a different fucking high, bros. It's crazy. And uh, I think it impairs more physically and shit. Like I was, I was trying to walk my dog, and I thought I think I almost tripped like four times. And I was like, "That's not good. I mean, that's never happened ever in my life. I have never tripped. Trust tried to walk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. So yeah, yeah. Gummies are definitely stay at home type of shit. Is all I'm gonna say." Oh, <laughs> that's why sitting on this chair is okay and shit. And I'm just feeling the trip right now. Oh, it's a whole different experience. Um, God damn it. Oh, well. Hey, cheers, Anthony Windham. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the show while you're tripping, bro. Cheers. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. Enjoy this trip. Try to do this every holidays, you know, for you guys, for you guys. David Latarte, this fucking Wong motherfucker. He says, by the way, as a bit of shameless self-promotion, I just made an anti-woke parody video of the Acolyte episode 5 at Dave Under Duress. Under your duress. Maybe it's funny. I don't know. I watched it. It's pretty funny, bro. Uh, it's like one of those, like, um, like he's just reviewing it, but he's like, you know, making fun of it and review bombing it and shit. Go over there and subscribe, you motherfuckers. It's fucking badass. I thought that. I don't even know if I subscribed to that. I, sh I should have. I don't know. I don't remember. I think we should. I think we did. I mean, it doesn't make any. I'm going to do it right now just because, you know, you put me on the spot, motherfucker. All right, fine. I'm going to search you right now and I'm going to subscribe to your channel, you fucking guy. I know I did. I watched it. I watched that son of a bitch. I was like, right there. I told you. I'm going to go watch it right now. And I watched it. You fucking guy. I was like, here it is, Dave, under duress. Subscribed right there. Underground broadcast. Just describe, subscribe to y'all, motherfuckers. You know, Son of Man did it. Remember, Son of Man does for 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 his his close comrades or whatever you want to call them. Americans. There you go, Americans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patriots. That's the word. Patriots. God damn it. 
<laughs> Cheers. All right. Let's keep going. David Latarte also on the Deadpool cameos revealed. He says, I can't wear sweatpants in public until I see this movie. I don't get it. I'm not. Somebody help me out with this. I can't wear sweatpants in public until I see this movie. I never wear sweatpants in public. Peace out, Timmons. Take it easy. We'll miss you. We love you. On this channel. Latarte, you better be more specific to a motherfucker who's like high and drunk all the time. I don't understand stuff that's smart and shit. All right. Uh, cheers, Latarte. Thank you for leaving comments, you motherfucker. If I ever get a bigger stream decks or whatever, you're going to have an intro, you son of a bitch. <laughs> we love you. On oh, the Deadpool cameos revealed Marcelo Valenza. Shit. Oh, he says Electra Hearts. Uh, oh, wait, DJ New Kid is explaining uh, about the comment of Leve Latarte's sweatpants. His boner. Sweatpants. Oh, because he's fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to come. He needs to fucking see it. I get it now. All right, fine, y'all motherfuckers. I, I get it. I get it. You took away Marcelo Valenza's fucking shine. You motherfuckers. Here we go. Marcelo Valenza. Well, forgive us for taking away your shine. Because your fucking avatar is fucking professionally, sh digitally sh fucking. It looks pimp as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy must have some money to pay some motherfuckers. And say, go over here and take some pictures of me and put them on my YouTube and shit. Make it look professional. Fuck yeah. That's what we need on this channel. None of these stupid ass drawings that look like a fucking two year old druid and shit. God damn it. Ah, uh, you wonder why there's only four motherfuckers watching us right now. <laughs> yeah! Happy July 5th, everybody. Day after. Independence Day. The day Will Smith saved us from aliens. Don't you ever fucking forget it. That man used to be my hero. Then he did something stupid. In public. In front of everyone. Fucking dumbass. Hey, what the fuck happened here? Oh, I hate when this shit does this. Alright, here we are. Uh, next comment is none other than the fucking rapist, uh, woman, abuser, uh, no ma'am, this fucking guy. No ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. <laughs> On the Jonathan Majors Gets an Award uh, video, he says... What a load of ass. He goes on and cries while talking about a black man in the criminal justice system. Shut the fuck up. He didn't even serve any jail time for what he did. If he would have been treated the way a normal black person in the criminal justice system would have been treated, he would have been in jail right now. That's a really good point. <laughs> to your son of man. Hashtag. Wolfpack. Oh, 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 live. 
Uh, yeah, if you're gonna point out that yes, I'm, my my nails are fucking bright, fucking neon lime green, green. It doesn't match with the red, white, and blue and shit that's going on right now. But it, you have any idea how expensive the fucking little things are? All right, they're fucking like ten, fifteen bucks. I ain't gonna go spend fucking a lot of money on different colors. Fuck you. All right, you work with what you have. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. No, ma'am. You dumbass. Uh, that made a lot of sense, what you said, though. Uh, anybody here in my neighborhood does what did would, would have done what Jonathan Majors did, those motherfuckers would be in jail <laughs> right now. But Jonathan Majors is getting, like, what, fucking therapy? <laughs> Do you understand why it was wrong? <laughs> yes. Okay. Sign the paper. <laughs> all right, all right. Cheers, no, ma'am. Let's see who else. Oh, Anthony Timmons left us early. He says, on the Son of Man is excited for the Nosferatu in the trailer. This one actually looks good. I want to see it. I fucking want to see this. But I'm telling you, man. This... I mean, obviously, it's not a fucking... Or, I don't know if it is. It doesn't sound like a silent film. Maybe because I, it could be just the trailer. The trailer is making fucking, you know, the voices or whatever. But maybe it's a silent film. Like, the actual silent film. I'm going to piss me off. Or... It's gonna be in another language and some fucking bullshit foreign ass that you got to read letters and that's gonna piss me off too. And it better not be anything like that. Uh, aside from that, because I always think of bad stuff. Aside from that, this looks amazing. And I can't wait to see it. You motherfuckers. Cheers. I know about you guys. Anthony Timmons also says, On the Justin Timberlake was set up video, Holly Weird sucks balls. Literally. It does. We just, the videos are there, but the, the you know, some, they haven't been released. Willingly. Not like the Kardashians. Oh, here you go. Everybody can see it. Everybody wants to see it. Let's make some money. That's what those bitches were thinking of. Anyways. Oh, Gomer also left his two cents on the cinema and is excited for the Nosferatu movie. He says, Nosferatu is one of those first silent horror ever. And the one who started all looks awesome. As a fan of horror and of the OG Universal movies and the Hammer films. Oh, MC Hammer. This I didn't know he made some movies. Um, with Christopher Lee. Oh, from Back to the Future, bro. A doc. As Dracula. I've never seen Christopher Doc as Dracula. That's crazy. Uh, and Peter Cushing. Yeah, Peter Cushing's badass. As Van Helsing. Damn good stuff. I just hack. I just hope hack. Bill Skarsgård doesn't mess this one up like he did in Pennywise in It Chapter 2. And the new Crow movie I heard was an abomination and complete and utter trash. This year has been the first in a while. I'm actually looking forward to four movies. Cheers, mofos. Hashtag live. Hashtag live. I don't know what to do, Gomer, you motherfucker. I'm gonna think I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna find an animation. It'll be a whole fucking thing. I'm gonna get some fucking I don't know.
Some fucking fairies or some fucking unicorns. Something fly across the screen magical and shit. Freak you out. Oh shit, Anthony Wyndham just showed up! <laughs> Cheers, Wyndham! You did make it, motherfucker. I hope you didn't fucking murder anybody driving on the way home, you dumbass. You better have slowed down and looked both ways and not run any red lights getting home. <laughs> Cheers, window. I'm gonna give you the woke pack, motherfucker. Live. Happy fucking, uh, July the 5th, the day after. Everybody's already like, yeah, we fucking murdered all the British. Let's fuck all the women that are, that didn't die. And that's, that's, and get drunk with them. And then the women were relieved and said, yeah, we'll fuck the winners. We're going to fuck those guys if they won anyways. <laughs> this is the day after, motherfuckers. All right, all right, let's keep going. It got crazy there. You see what happens when you show up, Wyndham? A bunch of nonsense. God damn it. Oh, well, oh, well. Let's keep it going, y'all motherfuckers. Oh, Rock, oh, fuck my life. Let me hit it for this asshole. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco on the podcast video says, Damn. Shifty shell shock past. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from Crazy Town. Probably was an overdose. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that voice for that. Um, son, did you know this dude was childhood friends with Punky Brewster? What? Soleil Moon Frey. Or Fry. Soleil Moon Fry, are you fucking kidding me? He even dated her a few years back. What the shit? I am too high for this right now. Are you fucking playing with me? Come to think of it, they broke up last year. Oh my god. This is recent. <laughs> that chick is hot. <laughs> No shit! God damn it. That guy looked like a junkie for uh, the last 10 years. The fuck is this hottie, hottie going on with this asshole? Oh my god. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Oh my god. Alright, alright, you know what? Just... <sighs> Oh my god, Punky Brewster, bro. Soleil Moon Frey. Frey? 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 Whatever. Ah, uh, with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I remember. Ah, uh, Melissa Joan Hart. Oh my god, cheers to the fucking... To our wonder years. Oh yeah! Yeah, cheers to you, Rocco. You're racist. Fucking Satanist. Yeah, you're not the racist, you're the Satanist. I forget, I forget. Anthony Timmons on the Son of Man really hates James Gunn video. He says, I don't blame you. I'm not a James Gunn fan either. <laughs> yeah, Timmons, all right, take it easy, Timmons. He also says, on the Mortal Kombat, uh, two movie was screened. I got a lot of spoilers for the Mortal Kombat movie. Like, this was nothing compared to what we, we didn't say shit last week. We just said it was screened and some other ass. I got a lot of spoilers tonight for the Mortal Kombat 2 movie. I hope you're ready for that shit. He says, the first Mortal Kombat wasn't bad. Not really excited about 2 though. Uh, I'm mixed about the fucking first one because at the at the same time we had not gotten a Mortal Kombat movie in a long fucking time and I just wanted to see one and and it wasn't bad the special effects and shit I thought just the story could have been way better and 
I don't know why Cole Young is in it. But we'll talk about, about this later because we're going to talk about spoilers and, and some shit's good. Some shit's good about part two. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, D Post, this fucking crazy guy. I'm going to hit the fucking DJ whore for this dick. <laughs> this guy says, Hi, my friend, and a little penguin crying. Oh, that's crazy. He says, also on the Son of Man Hates James Gunn, where's Puff D in this video? He's Puff Daddy's not in this video. No, oh no, nobody wants to be near that son of a bitch. Definitely not James Gunn, a motherfucker. On the comments video, D Post says, let's start drinking tonight. That was a day ago, you motherfucker. This guy's just like drunk at home being like, oh, let me just fucking talk to this guy. Ah, D Post, cheers, you drunkard. <laughs> Some fucking guy, dude. All right, all right, right. Let's see what else he wrote. Let's see. Let's see what his drunk motherfucker wrote. Depost. Oh, Depost. Fuck you. Uh, he like on the spacey at his lowest. Kevin just like some tight ass. Yeah, okay. Of course he does. And he didn't even want the ass. He just wants somebody to pull out his dick or suck on it or let me masturbate in front of you. Like he's just perverted like that. Uh, that's all he wants. He's, he doesn't care. He wants to just have an orgasm in some way. He doesn't have to actually penetrate you. He just wants to violate you in some sexual way. Anyways, Depost, I'm not going to play the whole video. Look at that from start to finish. Fuck you. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> I'm telling you, the motherfucker's drunk. He's trolling. He also says, I have... Five U.S. dollars for a burger. Well, go. <laughs> now, that's not enough. That's not enough. You fucked up. Not enough for one hamburger. Yeah. I'm letting you know right now. I don't think it is. Not in a big city. You're fucking up. At least nothing that's going to fill you up. Kevin Spacey reaches a new low. Kevin is just very woke. He's going to replace Joe Biden on the horse. He puts a goat. Ah. He's just like, I don't know. There, there are, there's a lot of people that, it, that are famous that are probably like him. This guy's just very sloppy about it and shit. And this is a murder. They're using him as fucking a distraction or just a way to say, yeah, yeah, this is him. We got him. Yeah, right. Y'all y'all are in it too, you motherfuckers. And it's like the Epstein. The Epstein. Yeah, Epstein died in Kalei Maxwell. They went to jail. But what about everybody who was on the jets and used him and went to the islands and to the parties? Why are they not investigated? You know? Uh, I wonder why. But whatever. Uh, Diddy's Empire is a gone video a long time ago. Depost put the key to the free pussy because I put they're gonna take away the key to the city, and that was a key that Diddy had access to any door in the city, so he went around raping women and drugging, drugging and raping, raping women, putting their tea, and then coming in at night when they're passed out and raping them. Uh, and so they had to take away the city, the key to the city. So this guy's calling it the the, the key to the free pussy. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Depots. Crazy asshole. This is why we're never going to get fucking popular because the kind of content that is put out on this channel. Oh my god. All right. J Hart W in the Mortal Kombat was screened video. It says, I hated the fact that they sidelined Scorpion in the last one. Oh my god. You're fucking talking some truth here, motherfucker. He was there for the beginning slash origin and the end fight. That's it. The whole movie revolved around this new Asian American made up character. Ah, uh, that's fucking, um, Cole Young. Oh my God. I got pissed me off. I should have been, it should have been Johnny Cage since the first movie, which is what everyone said. 
Because, oh, you can't have a white male to be the lead in a movie. It has to be a woke. And so they can, they, none of the other characters are woke enough. Not the black character, not the woman, not the Asian guy. So they had to make a fucking Asian American Puerto Rican. He's got a lot of a he mixes. You don't know what he is. Fuck you. They fucked up, man. They had all the characters there. They couldn't pick another one. They had to make a brand new character. Fuck you. That's what I say to that. Uh, he says, Oh, well, hopefully this one is better. I hope so. Carl Urban is kind of too old to be Johnny Cage, in my opinion. I, I thought so, too. But who knows? The guy's a good actor. I've only seen him in The Boys. I've never seen him in anything else, to be honest. Love him in The Boys. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers, J Hard W. I didn't see the trailer. This shit's been done. I don't know what's taking so long. They're fucking up. Maybe this is fucking shitty. It is. It probably is really shitty. It's gonna go straight to digital. That's how you know it's shitty. We're not putting it in theaters. DJ New Kid motherfucking left uh, a comment and it's just laughing my ass off, y'all motherfucker. Cheers! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, no, yeah, not much, not much there, motherfucker. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh my God! The next comment is none other than Houston, Texas, very own. Jose Trevino! Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Me tienes envidia, puto. <laughs> Fucking Joe T, man. The motherfucker's crazy. He says, What up, gay? I mean, you fucking... Is it fucking or fagging guy? I don't know. It could be either or. He might be saying fagging guy or he might be saying fucking guy. Anyways. I didn't care for the Spaceball sequel, but that David guy and you sold me. <laughs> No, because when you think about it, you I don't want them to make one. But if they're going to parody Disney and make fun of Ray and everything, Kathleen Kennedy, everything, even the dorks, the fans, just parody the shit out of Disney and everything that's been happening in the movie, it'd be perfect. That's all I'm saying. Uh, he says... It would be awesome if they roast the hell out of Disney Star Wars. And by the way, that now now clip fit with your music. And yes, Mr. President Trumpet, sir. <laughs> He's talking to Trumpets now. Yes, we do have that Gollum bite him on the run. LOL. Hashtag. Sorry, hashtag world order. My God, I'm so fucking. I'm feeling the effects of edibles right now to the max. Uh, but it's okay. One of these days, like I said, I'm gonna have a white sober Mormon guy pressing all the buttons and shit on the other side. You won't even see. You won't even know he's here. He's pressing all the buttons while I'm just doing this. Oh, uh, yeah. Cheers, Jose Trevino, you motherfucker. Leaving your bullshit comment about Disney Star Wars. Now, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talking to Trump and say, don't be encouraging that crazy fucking guy. Every time he comes on his channel, it makes me nervous. <laughs> it sounds just like him, that AI. Oh, my God. Anyways, let's keep going, man. Y'all are crazy. Um... Anthony Timmons again on the YouTube is sabotaging my channel. 
And they are. If you watch the channel, you know exactly what you're talking about. Y'all tell me if it's letting you press the like button or not. Tim Mint says, I did see one time that the thumbs up button was missing. And when you did a live broadcast, I had to go looking for it because it didn't get a notification. Even though I'm subbed with the notification bell checked. That happens to a lot of motherfuckers. Don't let them cut your legs out from under you. They do it all the time. I don't know how to fight it. Keep fighting the good fight, son. Well, I mean, that's all I can do. You need to pay them. That's what they want. They want money. Once you start going, giving them money, then they're all like, all right, we'll, we'll promote this guy. We'll put him up there and shit. Well, fuck you. We don't have money right now. Don't worry. One of these days. If my cousin comes back from Japan with his billion dollars and shit, he'll give us a million or two. We'll get it going and shit. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll get this started up one way or another. The woke pack. We'll all stick together. Chairs. And it's always gonna be. Live. Wait, don't forget that. W. P. For live. Bitches. You know how we do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring back the same uh, Garo from 90s. No CGI is the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> cheers, motherfuckers. And cheers to you, Tim, and living comments and shit. Were you the last one? Is Was he the last one? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he's the last one. All right, thank you, Timmons and shit. Again, whenever you send me to my fucking uh, social medias, I'll show and shit like in the beginning to everybody. Let's go Gomer's uh, message to everybody. We appreciate you, Gomer. Have a safe trip. Chattanooga. I think that's where he said he was going. Some shit like that. Over there in the, in the mountains. The hilly billies smoking the weed. Oh, yeah, y'all motherfuckers. I need to go over there and chill with that motherfucker in the mountains and shit. Catching them coons. Oh, yeah, the raccoons, the animals. All right, we're not being racist, y'all motherfuckers. We're talking about the animals. God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Shit. Oh, my God. All right, anyways. Um. So, uh, we're done with the fucking comments. And let's get this day after the American Revolution party going. And we're going to get it going and started with your weekly pop culture breakdown. And unfortunately, I do have to start with a fucking downer. Because none other than Martin Eugene Mull passed away at the age of 80. This guy was like a, a comic, a comedian, actor, and shit. Uh, I remember him from two shows specifically. He's been in some movies too, just little small roles here and there. Um, but specifically from fucking, um, uh, Arrested Development, he was the, the private detective the mom would pay to fucking find stuff for her, and his name was, uh, uh Gene Parmesan was his name, <laughs> and shit, it was fucking stupid, and he would always, like, have disguises and pop out of nowhere and shit. And she would scream. And he's like, well, that's what you pay me for. To be sticky. <laughs> fucking stupid. And then I also remember him from fucking uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. With fucking Melissa Joan Hart and Full Soleil Moonfrey. Moonfry. Moonfrey. That fucking bitch. Oh, my God. She was fucking that guy who died. That's crazy. 
Anyways, and then this guy died. Fuck. Damn. And he was in. He was the principal. And Sabrina the Teenage Witch. He was their principal and shit. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from my generation, alright? Don't be judging. It was, uh, it was on the CW. It's what you watch when you're a young adult and shit. You dicks. Anyways. Back to this man. We're honoring Mr. Eugene and his uh, comedic genius, I think. Because he was pretty funny every time I saw him. 80's a good year to, to live to, man. I could only hope or wish. Fucking shit. At the same time, I don't know, man. Your body's deteriorating. Some kind of long illness, they said. You know what that means? Some kind of cancer you've just been dealing with and fighting, hurting. Pain. Oh, yeah. Being human sucks ass. Especially when our planet is being terraformed. Uh, by aliens. That's why we keep getting all these diseases and cancers and fucking shit pneumonias. And ass. Hey, right, moving on. We're, we're just getting into stuff that's, just, you know, we're not trying to be disrespectful. We just got out of the, you know, attention and shit. All right, don't worry about it. That man was good. He'll be missed. Anyways, let's get into some serious stuff. Because apparently, there was... Or there is a current, oh wait, investigation into Chandler Bing's fucking death. Yeah, yeah. And the whole deal is that it was ketamine that he was overdosed on. And they want to know where did he get it from and from whom. Because you can't just get ketamine off the street anymore. You know what I'm saying? And if he did, where did he get it from? From whom? And they linked somebody on by his phone. That they found who it was. And it was none other than Brooke Mueller. Charlie Sheen's ex-wife. Yeah, remember this fucking AIDS infested fucking uh, druggie, crack at it, hooker loving, party boy. Yeah, he was fucking his fine piece of ass. I don't know why. <laughs> she must be a druggie too. <laughs> but anyways... Because apparently, well, yeah, I mean, she is a druggie, because apparently, because I'm reading these notes for the first time. <laughs> apparently, she met Mr. Matthew. Uh, what's this guy's name? I don't even remember. Matthew Perry. All right. All right. There, I'm reading these things. Don't worry. That's what these things are here for. Mr. Matthew Perry, for the first time. In rehab, when they were in there together, fucking st from being strung out, this guy's on pills and shit, and she's on crack, and whatever, this guy would show up this chick's ass and shit, when they were fucking married. Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man, because, you know, this guy's fucking disgusting. That's the way he likes to take drugs in the ass. Not me, it's not me, that's Charlie Sheen's ways, okay? It's disgusting. Anyways, Brooke Mueller, man, that's insane. And they're saying that with a cell phone that they found another celebrity. It's an unnamed celebrity. But they haven't disclosed the name because they don't know of it officially, you know, because they don't they haven't like I don't think they're know for sure. Maybe it's like un, like the number that it's saved under or the name. It's probably not the name of the full so It's just like a nickname and they're saying it's this person. But they, they don't know. And what they want is they want the cell phone of the person they think it is. And if they find the cell phone of that person or find a way to get that cell phone, 
then they can prove that it's them because obviously it's the same text message or whatever. Unless that person already deleted them, you idiots. So there's another person, a high, and it says it's a higher class celebrity because this bitch was not a celebrity. She was just fucking a druggie celebrity. And she's a druggie too, and she ends up in rehab after being married to that asshole. So I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck, it's crazy, and she went and got all these lawyers right away, as soon as they fucking try to book her and shit for this ass, and all these lawyers, and, and she's protected right now, and she's in like a halfway house or some shit like that, she's not even in her house, she's like at this rehab or some ass, a private shit, and uh, the police went over there and tried to book her. And she got all her lawyers, and she's being protected. And uh, there's no choice unless there's charges. You better not. You can't bring me in and shit. And all this is false accusations. And I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I have nothing. I'm, I don't. I don't supply ketamine. And they're saying that the text messages show that the conversations. And and I don't know if they're saying between her or maybe this other person that they don't want to say the name of. But the conversations were like, hey, uh. My guy, uh, he's being a dick or whatever, and he's like, well, don't worry, I have the perfect doctor, and he's from out of state, and I have two other guys too, so don't worry, how much do you need? And that's, that's how they were doing it, some kind of fucking celebrity pipeline where it's all like, hey, I need some ketamine, and oh yeah, don't worry, let me call a few doctors uh, across the cross state lines, and shit, they'll mail it to me, because I'm a celebrity. That's incredible, man. Can't I mean? I mean, I just, I'm just like, <laughs> is life really that boring when you're fucking rich? And we'll fucking. You're rich and have it all and done done it all. You know, or this, or this guy feels accomplished. Obviously, he was making like what? Uh, well, actually, let me talk about his net worth. At the time of his death, this guy, his estate, everything, his worth, his belongings, his cars, his houses, everything that he fucking owned, his net worth is a hundred and twenty million dollars. All that is going to his immediate family, of course, and they can figure out what the fuck and how much taxes they have to pay on all that ass, which is probably going to be a lot. They have to sell a lot of that bullshit that he owns. Uh, but everything he owns, it's like $120 million worth. That's his net worth. In his bank account, he had cents. He had a million and a half in his checking account when he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just living life on a million bucks, doing ketamine and lounging in his hot tub. Because that's how he died, man. He took ketamine and he lounged in his hot tub. And you know what that tells you, bros? Is that that's something he did on a regular. And that he enjoyed doing that. It was a, a, an activity he did on the weekends and shit. And he probably took too much. He probably let me do a little bit more. It's, it's a special day today. Oh yeah. He said oh, it's my anniversary of being single. Oh. Fuck that bro. Being, being fucking, uh, I don't know, man. These edibles have kind of make me feel like ketamine. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, motherfuckers. All right, all right. We're moving on from Chandler Bling. I don't want to fucking disrespect this motherfucker either, you know. Um, <clears throat> I will say, I will say, I will say one thing. Um. Uh, he was a good guy, man, you know, but we all have problems, big fucking deal and shit, you know. I say, um, 
I try not to do drugs. This here that I'm drinking. Here, let me stop rolling this metal straw. This shit here that I'm fucking drinking to me is a drug. I'll tell you all like that. And uh, the reason I think it's a fucking drug is because it's man-made. This is not something that, oh, it's growing or leaking from from right there and shit or whatever. Uh, the, this had to be made and shit. Right? I don't think weed is a drug because it's just a plant that grew. And it, technically, if you let it die and dry, then you just, I mean, you just smoke it. For fine, you have to roll it up and smoke it, but you don't have to alter it in any way. It's just there for you to actually use already. And then, like, everything else is also a drug when you think about it. Because everything else is m made into that. And that's why I say, they're, like, I try not to do drugs. But I do drugs. That's as far as I want to take it. As far as what I've done in the past, I've, I've done a lot. Alright? You don't end up like this. By just smoking weed, motherfuckers. I'll let you know right now. Cheers! I'm feeling crazy. Alright, alright, alright. Let's keep it going. Um. Yeah, we're sorry about Chandler Bing, everybody. And I'm sorry about that, too. And I'm sorry about that, too. <laughs> Forgot to turn that off. Amber Rose continues to piss off her fans by supporting Trump. Here he is at the annual slut walk. Strippers have feelings, too. She's wearing, like, no fucking underwear under that. And, uh, and she didn't shave her coochie. She, she's hairy. She wanted to show everybody in the world. Women can be fucking disgusting, too. Uh, and here she is, a picture she took with Trump not too long ago, because that's recent, because she has a tattoo on her forehead and shit. That's crazy. And Trump doing the fucking, uh, the Orange Cassidy, because he's not doing the, the whole thumbs up. He's just being cool, like Orange Cassidy. He's trying to be cool, because he's already got the hair. He's just missing the glasses, and then he'd be ready to do the Orange Cassidy and shit. Um, but anyways, this fucking slut, and now don't be fucking a judgmental, she wants us to call her that, it says it's empowering to women like her, and then it should be, I think it's a good thing to be calling women a slut, especially if they look like this, uh, but anyways, this slut says, uh, that she endorses Trump, and she doesn't give a fuck, because she says Joe Biden doesn't care about you fucking poor people, and doesn't care about fucking, uh, none of you browns, she said. And now she has now teamed up with some fucking guy who, who think, who looks like he could be like, like, what's his name, pa Paul Wall's fucking, uh, nephew and shit from Houston, and ass. And here's a quick clip, and we better not get copywritten strike for this ass, because this is not even that cool, and it's only a few seconds. Fuck you, YouTube. Here we go. It's the mayor, Magaville, baby. Hey, you know who we voting for? We voting Donald Trump, baby. America needs safe. America needs safe. We voted Trump, Trump, baby. Oh my god, bros. It gets crazy and shit. They do a whole fucking video about this. Oh. A whole fucking video about this rapping. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. And they have behind them. I don't know if you noticed. It's that Tesla, the brand new Tesla truck. And it's all painted on with Trump slogans with graffiti about Trump and shit. It's fucking crazy, bro. Uh, they went all out on this to support a man 
they fully endorse and uh, and that they believe it. They believe in this man. Uh, the other thing I believe in is this. Yeah, this is just an image nowadays. Oh my god. Uh, well. Poor Amber Rose. Thank God for her body, right? Anyways, that's all she's got. Uh, something crazy happened. And unfortunately, it happened to Danny Trejo. Yeah. Mr. Fucking Danny Trejo was fucking seen. Uh, in a parade for the 4th of July and he was riding in a low rental car with his brother and everything was cool and shit he was riding and they had music and people were taking pictures and people were running up to the side of the car and going like that with their can I take a selfie and he was going yeah and, and taking pictures like that you know what I'm saying that shit was happening. A lot of that shit was happening. Kids were going up and he was doing... He wasn't getting out of the car, but they were going... People were going up to like that because it was a low rider. Um, and what started happening is some motherfuckers threw a water balloon at them. And the first one was like, what the fuck? And when they hit him on the second one, Danny gets out of the car. I'm about to show you the video of everything that went down. I might show it to you twice. This is crazy. Did this just happened on the 4th of July? On America's fucking birthday? This is happening in LA. In East LA. The Danny Trejo. Check this out. So they hit the car and this guy gets out. There's a water balloon. And Danny gets out and he runs over there to the guys who threw the water balloon. And he goes, hey, fuck you. And he hits him in the he punched him. And then they knocked the guy knocked Danny Trejo out. And then the brother, he knocked the brother out, too. He knocked both of them out. But Danny went right up to him to punch him, bros. It was crazy. Right here. Here he goes. He's running up. And right away he just throws a punch, bro. He didn't even say what the fuck, bro. He just right there. Boom. Right in the face. And that guy, boom, knocks out Danny Trejo. And then he knocks out Danny's brother. Boom. Oh. That was nuts, bro. Ah, uh, I'm fucking speechless that this happened. Was Danny in the wrong? It was just water balloons. And it's LA. It's hot as fuck. I would have been like, yeah, it's fine. Oh, shit. Maybe the guy yelled something. Oh, fuck. Maybe the guy yelled something at him. <laughs> this looks insane. What happens? Look at Danny. I don't give a fuck. I'm like 50. No, he's probably like 70 years old. Look at this guy. I don't give a fuck. Look, he can barely walk over there. He's really stiff walking over there. And he... Oh! He got a good one in. He got one good hit in, and then that's it. Boom. Yeah. Hey, that guy's dangerous, bro. He knocked the fuck out of them both. I, I think they said that Danny was bleeding and shit. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this situation. I think that if somebody would have thrown me a water balloon, I would have been like, you know, in this East LA, where it's right now, it's fucking hot as fuck. You know, hurricanes over there right now. 
I would have been like, throw another one, motherfucker! Not even my car, anyways. <laughs> it's not my car. Why are you gonna get mad over water, Denny? Like a gastes vato! You dumbass! That's all I'm gonna say. Denny, you fucked up. To me. You fucked up. You didn't deserve this fucking mural. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're moving on. And we're gonna finish it. With the needy. Gritty. Diddy. Because this week, he's at number nine lawsuits. One more woman has come out to sue him of sexual uh, exploitation or selling. I don't know. He was prostituting her out for money. Sell your body to my friends for money. You bitch. That's what basically he was doing to her. Uh, this woman, according to the shit I'm reading, is an ex-porn star. All right. <laughs> her name is Adria, Adria English. That's her real name. And she's better known as her porn name of... I'm unique. You know, like unique. But you put an O and an M in front of it. Anyways, there's only like one or two videos. That's why those are the only pictures I could find. This is her Instagram right now. And she's probably going to make a lot of money on her Instagram now suddenly. And her OnlyFans and shit or whatever the fuck she has. Who knows? She's suing the shit out of this guy. <laughs> because she says, hey. He tried... What happened was that from the very beginning, it was a setup. She says, I wanted to work with him because I don't want to be a porn star anymore. I didn't want to fucking suck dick and, and, and get fucked. But I want to make some money. And Puff Daddy said, I'll give you some money, bitch. You want to work for me or what? And he, she said, fuck yeah, I'll do anything. She said. And so then what ended up happening is that Daddy, Puff Daddy says, bring, come over here with you and your boyfriend. And then she says, when, when they were there in the office, she told, she told both of them, I'm going to give you the job and you're going to have more money than you ever imagined. But your boyfriend's going to suck my dick right now. And Puff Daddy pulls his dick out. And, uh, and uh, yeah, the, 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 I mean, she got the job, is all I'm going to say. Oh, that's, a, that's a good boyfriend. <laughs> oh, that's a crazy story that she's saying, bro. Anyway, so from the very beginning, it was a setup. She says that Puff Daddy was a fucking delinquent and shit. Like, hey, you want the job? Bring your boyfriend over and he's gonna do some gay shit with here. And speaking of gay shit, no one, none other than Andrew Sanchez is here! We don't test any of our products on animals. We use Filipino children. Cheers, Andres. We love you. Um. So yeah, this chick said to get the job and not be a prostitute. I mean, a porn star anymore. My boyfriend sucked his dick. And then when I was employed with him, they took me to these parties, and there was all these. I called them white parties, mostly because it was full of fucking cocaine, but there was also a lot of fucking white Jewish uh, uh, people there, powerful, millionaires, wealthy, do a lot of gay shit. 
and you know like she would have to be forced to watch them because that's the kind of stuff they like like let me do some gay stuff and you got to sit there and mas watch us naked and masturbate or whatever for us be there right there bitch they do that kind of shit to them um and you know that's what she was doing and shit and she was getting paid for it she was getting pimped you know that's what she was basically saying now and this is the new allegations that are coming out for fucking uh for diddy right now uh so number nine remember it's a. Uh, it's a but it's, it's 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 a guy a producer says this guy used to stick the finger in the ass keep it good in junior whenever you go over he was also like hey let's have a meeting uh, come over here my assistant and the assistant would bring him and he's this guy's in the shower jerking off let's have the meeting right now in front of him it's because like what the fuck yeah I'm, I'm showering but we have to have the meeting right now i'm jerking off finish what did you have to say present it to me this guy's jerking off there in the shower it's crazy bro it's fucking crazy that's that guy and then there was this a uh, bunch of other little girls that he fucking raped molested and fucking drugged and shit uh that he did and the, the white girl that uh he did a bunch of crazy stuff too he made her have sex with the other girl and then cassie we seen the video of her beating her and shit this guy's in, this guy's a fucking crazy abuser of not just um, women of people this chick said to get the job my boyfriend had to suck his dick in front of me can you imagine that that actually happened according to her diddy is f some crazy motherfucker bro talk about having power and saying Look at this shit. I'm so powerful. I can make a, a straight guy suck my dick in front of his girlfriend. He's like the Joker and shit. He is the Joker. Remember when he dressed up as the Joker? He is the fucking Joker. He's a black Joker. That's crazy. That's scary. Fucking Diddy. Oh, but it's getting worse for this guy. Because not only is he at number nine, but now he has lost his legalities, his fucking representation. They dropped him. And the reason why they dropped him was none other than Lady Gaga. Because the firm that was representing him was also representing Gaga. And she said, hey. I don't want no part of this fucking drugging and raping and molesting of of people. Because it wasn't just fucking, you know, this is some, this is abusing homosexuality and shit. You don't do that shit for God. Gaga's all about pro-sexuality. And this guy's abusing sexuality. This is the opposite of what Lady Gaga is. And so she says, I don't promote this shit. And if you're going to represent me and my money and be paying the payments that I pay you. Then you better drop his ass or else I drop you. And so they told Diddy, we're sorry. We're not going to represent you anymore. She's worth more money than your bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They, t they told his ass he's they're done with him. Gaga's more powerful. Everybody's more powerful than Diddy right now. Anybody. He's fallen. Gaga just stomped his ass down some more. He's done for. He hasn't even gone to trial or nothing. You're just biding time. They're just shaming them. This is the this is what they're doing to him is the Cersei Lannister where they're parading him for the public. So everybody could see that's exactly what's happening here. He's being paraded and shaming. Shame him. Show him all this ass. No mercy. Spit on him. And we are. I am. Son of a bitch. You let me down. You let me down. You dumbass. <sighs> Anyways. Fuck you, Titty.
We're done with the goddamn pop culture breakdown. Now let's get into the weekly comic book nerd shit. And this week, there was a trailer for Hellboy, a new fucking Hellboy movie! And right away, I'm pissed off. His eyes are not even yellow. <sighs> That's very, 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 like, a, a very, like, peeve of mine little thing that it's like you have to get certain things perfect you dumbass and the eyes had to be yellow he's a fucking demon from hell he's a spawn of satan literally <sighs> i will say one thing this looks crazy and i know what they're doing now I, uh, my friend had this graphic novel, The Crooked Man. I skimmed through it. It's fucked up, bro. From what I remember, because I said I, I didn't read it all, but I kind of just skimmed through it. There's these, and it is, look, it's showing it. This is going to be rated R. But there's these two kids, and wow, and it's, it's exactly what I was just about to tell you. Let me see, get to that part and pause it. It's these two kids that are friends. And for whatever reason, they want to be witches and they read shit in a book. But in, in the comic book, like the book, I remember it. The drawings, the kids were both naked. The little boy and the little girl. They didn't show their privates, but this same view that you're seeing. But they were both naked and they were over a fire and they were doing shit like this in the ground. Um, but they, they try to summon the witch and the devil and shit like that. And, uh, this little girl dies. And then this guy, they summon this demon called the crooked man. And it's crazy. I think like he takes the little girl's soul and this guy's just trying to fucking, he gets a, I don't know, like, guy like I said, I just skimmed through it. But it's just fucked up because the crooked man is like the swindler guy that used to live a long time ago. And when he died, he made a deal to the de with the devil to come back and steal souls for him. And his face is all crooked and his he walks all crooked and he, he twists and turns and shit. It's fucking crazy. Uh, he looks fucked up. But... It looks fucked up. It doesn't even look like a Hellboy movie because it looks like a horror movie for the first time. And they said that the guy who wrote the goddamn original comic book wrote the script for this movie. If the creator of the comic book wrote the script for this movie, I said this is probably going to be really good now. Um, obviously, they're not going to show naked kids, thank God. I don't know why they did that in the comic book. It was weird. Um, but this little girl, like, there's a part where she becomes a horse and some ass. Oh, my God. I remember some of those drawings were horrendous. <laughs> this is going to be scary as fuck, bro. It's, it is. It really is. Uh, people are still popping firecrackers outside. You do this. It's the day after. It wasn't even legal the day of. You're lucky it rained. Wait, it's supposed to be raining. They're doing this in the rain, those idiots. I'm semi-excited for this. I need to see more. But right away, I can tell you, it doesn't look like any Hellboy we've seen before at all. This is way different. Uh, ain't gonna be no silliness, and it's gonna be rated R. That's what they said. 
So they're gonna show some fucked up shit. And this is all in the woods? It's not in a city? It's gonna be crazy, bros. Crazy shit. But let's get into some of the spoilers. Get into it. Mortal Kombat 2 spoilers. Because we already said last week that Johnny Cage and Katana are pretty much the main characters of the movie. Carl Urban is going to be Johnny Cage and this little Asian girl is going to be fucking Katana. And the whole movie is about them and their stories and their parallel. You see two stories, the whole movie, and it's both of them. And they're the main characters. And every other character is literally sidelined and you don't know nothing about their story and their character is not developed. Because everything in the movie is just these two guys. They're there, the other guys are there, but they're just there to be eye candy and to fight and shit and have cool lines. You're not going to see no character development about what's going on with them. You're not. Because all the whole movie is centered is on these two characters, they said. But here are the more spoilers. Because it was screened already to people that people have not been talking about. Cole Young, the character that I hate. The made-up character. They made up for the fucking movie and shit. Oh, let's make this woke and shit. Because the movie already has enough woke characters. Like fucking, uh, like, like fucking blacks and, and Asians and shit already in it. And women, strong, powerful women. But no, let's make some fucking guy who we don't even know if he's American or Asian or Polynesian or some shit. You know, Cole Young, a made up character forced into it and just like, fuck you. Why? Because Johnny Cage is a white male. You don't want a, a strong white male to be the main character. Fuck you. You wait till the second one. But thank God we are getting our wish. And this piece of shit is going to die within the first 20 minutes of the movie. Thank God. 10 minutes of it is the trailer and the introduction, and then boom, this guy dies right away. Fuck yeah. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Very, very fucking happy about this. Shao Kahn is great. He fights Jared, King Jared. They said that's how the movie starts. He fights, he's fighting King Jared, and he kills him. Cole Young, he kills Cole Young. Shao Kahn is the one who kills Cole Young. That's badass. He kills Liu Kang. Shao Kahn kills Liu Kang. Sonya. And Katana. What? Oh no, he fights. Sorry, sorry. He fights. I got that all wrong. I'm freaking out. I'm super drunk and high. He fights Jarrett. He fights Cole Young, Liu Kang, Sonya, Kitana. Uh, he, in the beginning, he fights Jared. He kills Cole Young and Liu Kang. Oh, Liu Kang is killed, bro. Why? You already killed Kung Lao in the last one. Shang Tsung barely is in the film. Well, 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 well. Well, I really don't care. Uh, Johnny Cage is funny, but a little too old. I said Carl Urban is too old to be Johnny Cage. Noob Saibot is in the last 15 minutes. Similar appearance to Sub-Zero with a pitch black tone. Clone. Okay, nah, that's lame. Katana kind of main character and uh, very awesome. Uh, it's more of a Katana and secondary uh, Johnny movie. Kung Lao resurrected by Quan Chi. Quan Chi's in the, in the fucking movie as something like a revenant. Kung Lao's a revenant. Oh my god. Raiden is barely in the fucking film. Consulting with the Elder Gods. Lots of CGI blood, but better than in the previous one. Liu Kang, small role, and he dies, of course, to Shao Kahn, according to this. 
Baraka, only 10 minutes in the movie? God damn it! All practical looks badass. Practical. What does he look like? God damn it. I wonder what his mouth looks like if it's practical. It's not going to look like what we want it to. That's crazy. Jade is unlikable character. <laughs> A strong woman. Really strong. Better than everybody. For no reason. Kwai, Kwai Chi, no fight with Quan Chi. Oh, he doesn't fight. Sindel, many fatalities. Sindel kills a lot of people. And she's under Shao Kahn's control. Scorpion is barely in the film. Oh, oh my god, bro. Kano is reanimated like a revenant. All right, all right, whatever. Sonya Blade, sideline, but she defeats Sindel. Shao Kahn and Katana, best looks. Shao Kahn is this huge guy, bro. He was in that, he's in that movie, the Mad Max movie. He's the, the, the son, the big one with the bald, the bald big one. That's Shao Kahn, bro. The deaths. Cole Young, thank God. Jax dies. Ma, Liu Kang. That, I'm so sorry. Bro. And Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn ends up dying. Um, Katana kills him. Uh, last thing. The stages are the acid room. Oh, I remember that. That this is the platform. And if you hit him, he falls in the acid. The spikes from the floor. And a place in hell. A lot of the fights take place in slow-mo. Some are in slow-mo. Long, long fights. Oh, here are the fights. Jared versus Shao Kahn. Sonya versus Sindel. Kitana versus Johnny. Ko Young versus Shao, which Ko Young dies. Jax versus Jade. Jax dies. Liu Kang versus Kung Lao. Which probably Liu Kang dies. Johnny Cage versus Baraka. Yeah, this is the tournament. Andre Sanchez, yes. This is the tournament. Um, it, they're finally going to show the tournament. I forgot to mention this. This is what this. These are the fights that they set up. Johnny Cage versus Baraka. Oh, that means that fucking Baraka's going to die. If Johnny Cage is fighting Baraka, then that's why he's only in it for 10 minutes. Baraka's going to die. He didn't have no fucking story. That sucks. Sonya Jax, Liu Kang versus Shao Kahn. And they all fucking die, probably. Or just Sonya survives. Scorpion, Kano, Johnny Cage, Jade versus New Saibot, Shao Kahn versus Liu Kang. Sonya Blade, Shao Kahn versus. I'm so confused. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry. I didn't see the, the space. So no Noob Saibot fights a bunch of people by himself. He fights Scorpion, Kano, Johnny Cage, and Jade. And then Shao Kahn fights Liu Kang he, and Sonya. And Shao Kahn fights Kitana. I think Kitana is the one that kills Shao Kahn is what I've heard. And, uh, I think this is all real, man. I mean, it's Mortal Kombat. What more do you want? We haven't seen one in so fucking long. Mm. I think at the very least, I'm happy that Cole Young is dying. And he's dying right away. He should have died quicker. Because Johnny Cage in that Annihilation Part 2, 
He died fucking super fast. Within a minute or two, he died right away. And I want Cole Young to die like that super fast. Fuck that guy. I don't like that character. One of the stupidest fucking... The whole movie was him. The whole first movie is this made-up character. Fuck you. It's bullshit. Anyways. Those are the spoilers for Mortal Kombat. We're moving on. And we're moving on to a quick fucking review. Of badass. Episode 3. Of House of Dragon. And I'm telling you this show. Is missing all the gore. And all the sex. That all the other shows. And the things that we like about it. Um. Ah, oh, there's some cool shots, which I'm showing you, and shit, some of the dragons. The acting is good. It's, it's just a really slow pacing show, you know, the, the actual war hasn't started, and it's just showing you the beginnings of it, in ass. Um, I'll never just the acting, the acting's great. Um, they're not straying too much from the fucking actual... They, I'm, I'm, these little black girls, they're not supposed to be black, obviously. Uh, but I still am like them because they're going to play a prominent role in the future. Um, another thing that they did show the cut. I don't know if you noticed. They showed the fucking uh, Daenerys' eggs in it. Let's see if I can pause it here in a little bit. Um, and they put it as an Easter egg. But only because they give her four eggs. They give this little girl... Uh, uh, I think her name's Ray, Ray, Rhea. It's Rhea and Bay, Bela. They're supposed to be. Yeah, they're sisters. And um, the pink one hatches. And the other three don't hatch. And they don't hatch until Daenerys gets a hold of them. Then they hatch. But the pink one is the only one that hatches. And one of them rides it. Um, so this is going to this is gonna be a long... This is going to be like four seasons, five. It could go up to five seasons, man. And they can do time jumps because some of these characters need to get older, too. Um, yeah. But it's 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 a it's a, it's not a it's not a bad show. But it's very low quality and stuff of standards of, of Game of Thrones is all I'm going to say. Um. It's a cool episode. I liked it. Um, I just wish there was more of maybe because the war hasn't started, but I don't know. It's just I just feel there's been opportunity to show fucking craziness, and they really don't. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know. We'll see where the next one takes us because. Obviously, the war is coming, you know. Damon's over there doing his own crazy shit, trying to take over stuff for them with his dragon. I think in the next episode, uh, the lady, the older lady with the white hair, you know, like me. What's her name? Because uh, no, that's Rhaenyra. Rhaenys. Rhaenys. Uh, she's the one with the red dragon. Oh, that dragon's badass. She's gonna she's gonna get ambushed by Vagar, Amon, and Aegon. And she's gonna get ambushed by them. And uh they're gonna kill her. And then and then that's the next episode, I think. That's the next thing that's gonna happen. Uh it's gonna be nuts. The war is really going to get crazy. Because then then it's going to be Amon going after Damon. His uncle. It's just nuts. Uh, but we're not there yet. So, eh. I don't know. It's just one of those shows that you have to be into the lore to like it. They did show some shit. There was some girl sucking some dick and another girl getting fucked. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there was some of the sex was there, but, you know, it's not like the other one. I think the other one was more graphic. 
That was pretty graphic. She was sucking that guy's dick. It was just too fast. I didn't see enough of it. I think that's what bothered me. It was too fast. Anyways, maybe next time. I can't show you all. I'm sorry, the dick sucking. But it really, it would have gone too fast like that. So it doesn't really matter. If you blink, you might have missed it. You know. I saw it because my eyes are trained to see that kind of shit. Uh, but, I, you know, if you might have missed it if you would have seen it. Yeah, I'm just being honest. Uh, but, you know, it's a good show. It's a good show, good acting. It's just kind of slow, and it's not at Game of Thrones standard, you know. We'll see. Maybe next week it'll be better. Maybe next week. But I'll tell you, to me, in my personal opinion, what keeps getting better is the fucking boys. And they fucking trolled the shit out of Spider-Man. Oh, look at this hideous sh web shit coming out of his ass. And it spits it at this guy. And they parry, this, they parry the shit out of Spider-Man. Oh my god. It's, it ends end kind of like this guy who's like Bruce Wayne in a way. Who, oh my god, it's just such a fucked up, oh my god, I don't even want to tell you what that was, that he just, that slime stuff, and they shoot the little girl in the head. Okay, okay, I don't even know where to start, let me just breathe. <sighs> Damn her titties, I remember that part. Oh, <laughs> there's so much I gotta tell you. You're, if you didn't see this, you're watching this clips, and you're all like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Okay. Ah, uh, this is I love this show. This is what every show needs. It's got the right amount of stuff that's funny. It's got the right amount of stuff that's fucked up and gory and 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 oh my god, it's just perfect, you know. It's a it's a parody. But it, it it makes real real day life and, and and events and stuff that's going on. Anyways, this guy's an informant. This Peter Parker in this universe or whatever his name is, and he's called the Web Weaver. And obviously he has shoots webs out of his another extra hole he has above his ass on his back. It's shit, and he wears this costume and shit. Um, and he likes stuff being shoved up his ass his drugs being plugged in his ass he likes that kind of stuff it's this is the kind of shit this this show is it's insane all right um and basically they drug him to take his identity and infiltrate the fucking uh bad guys you know but uh, there's so much kinky stuff that goes on in there and he in huey the guy who goes undercover wearing the costume of the spider-man guy has to put up with this shit because this guy this is the kind of stuff that goes on in there and he's into it it's so fucked up man it's just crazy stuff that goes on bro um if you have ever seen the boys I just really, really fucking recommend it because this show is so fucking good. Anthony Starr over here, this girl, he has this thing where he has a thing for breast milk. And there was a lady who died. He killed. <laughs> There's a lady that he killed because she was betraying him to get him killed. She killed her. And that she used to let him suck in her titties and drink the breast milk because she had a baby. And that was his, his kink. And this chick started taking hormones and shit so that she could get breast milk. And she wasn't pregnant. And she did it for him. And he's like, you did that for me? And she's like, I do anything for you. And he's all like, okay. And then starts feeding him a grown man. It's crazy, bro. And then at the end, of course, you find out that Butcher and Kessler is not real. He's just been in his head all along, and this fucking idiot has been talking to himself this whole time. There's been no one there when he's there drinking. No, one, Everyone's always confused when he's there drinking. There's no one there. No one's ever there. And then this guy, he's all like, yeah, it's it's I'm the bad side of you. I'm the one who knows what to do. Uh, it's fucking crazy. Um, good episode i'm telling you this is the best show right now on fucking television that's all i'm gonna fucking say about that cheers
Cheers. All right. Let's get into it. Good old Mr. Jimmy Gunn. And his bullshit. Because he wants to go and spend the studio's money on actual stunts. Putting people's lives in dangers. And fucking blue screen mannequins. And then shooting Superman saving a little girl. The next shot. But this is real. They dropped this ass. And made all this thing explode. Everybody was far away. They That shit went everywhere. Yeah, it killed like a bird or two. It was fucked up. Fucking James Gunn. This right here cost seven million dollars. Fucking guy. All that ass. So I guess Superman's gonna save that little girl and then protect her when that shit explodes. You see? That's the exact same thing you're gonna see right there. Oh well. More behind the scenes from this fucking shitty movie. James Gunn is gonna give us good old Lewis and Clark. These are stunts just practicing to see how it's gonna look. They're getting horny too. That chick looks fine. I guess hell. That guy's built too. Man, I would pay to see them fuck for sure. Yeah, this is classic. This guy's ripping shit straight out of the pages. This motherfucker just let me let me let me revolve let me rely on nostalgia for all these motherfuckers is basically what this guy's doing. All right, he's a hack. James Gunn is a hack. Let me rely on nostalgia, he's saying. And let me explain to you why he wants to rely on nostalgia. Because he's actually bringing none other than Christopher Reeves' own son, William Reeves, on the set and gave him a role in the movie. And yes, he's going to be a reporter. Uh, he's going to have one of those cameos where he says, oh, what is Superman? He's evil or is he good? I don't know. What is your opinion, Cassie? Or some shit like that. Ass. They in there hugging him. Fuck you, James Gunn. You don't deserve to be hugging royalty like that. You pussy. Uh, fucking James Gunn pisses me the fuck off with this bullshit. There it is with this little fucking... Steve Jobs, fucking black shirt and shit and white hair and his glasses. Fucking thinking he's better than you. Fuck you. Anyways, we're not done with more of this ass. Because we get the first look at... Uh, Isabella Merced, Hawk Girl. And none other than Nathan Filman as... Guy Gardner, the gay Green Lantern. And god damn it. <sighs> Look, Guy Gardner, I've that's one of the <sighs> lamest designs because there's some I don't even know the modern one's pretty lame too, if you ask me. I don't know why they designed him like that. Can nobody design this character better than they, they have? If they give him the stupid ass haircut. Looks like Dennis the Menace or some bullshit. Anyway, so yeah, that's Nathan Filman looking like a complete and utter dork. Out of shape. Wearing this plastic CW looking piece of crap. God damn it. And then look at this fucking hot girl. What the fuck, James Gunn? What are you doing? This is fucking bullshit. How do you go from this hot fucking design over here on the right to this dumb fucking rubber stupid ass? Oh my god. It's horrible. It's a horrible suit. 
It's a downgrade compared to the suits they had in that shitty rock movie. The Black Adam. Look at this guy. This is Hawkman. He looks more like Hawkman from the comic books. This little girl looks nothing. Nothing. Like the way the comic book looks. The modern one. None of the versions. Fucking James Gunn's an idiot. Here's the costume. I better look at it. You think I'm the overreacting? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, here it is on the left. It's like... It's not even skin tight. It's loose. And rubbery. And she has a wire in the back because they pump air and shit. Cold air because it's hot outside. And she don't want her to be sweating and shit. Ah, oh, I'm not happy with this at all. Here's a video, a set video of them flying or some ass and landing. Here we go. We get Mr. Terrific landing. Hawk Girl has already landed with his wings. Little kids run up and Superman grabs them and lifts, lifts them up and puts them down. And then these guys walk away like I think they just saved the day or some ass. Mr. Terrific's wearing some kind of like Iron Man mecha suit. Uh, exoskeleton shit that he uses to fly down on. And Hot Girl, her wings are going to be all CGI, but they look off. They're probably going to be all metal and shit. The fucking James Gunn, you idiot. Oh my god. Already, I can see it all fuck up. Look at these kids. All of these little... Ah, oh, send in all the black and Mexicans first. Keep the white kids back. Keep the white kids back. Fuck you, James Gunn. What's wrong with the white kids? Dick. Over there, in the blue. Fucking Sean Gunn himself. That motherfucker getting another paycheck. Oh, let me just do the stand-in and shit for whatever you need. Don't worry, in case you're going to need an alien or whatever. I'm going to be right there for you, brother. Fuck you, Sean Gunn. James Gunn and your bullshit. We're going to see all this ass pretty soon. I want to know who the fuck the villain's going to be. We're going to see it really soon. It's going to be spoiled for everyone. And we're going to see Supergirl pretty soon, motherfuckers. Get ready for it. James Gunn's a move. An idiot. We're getting all the spoilers for this whole fucking movie. Literally. Look at the apparatus this dumbass is wearing. I'm telling you. This is insane. Fuck you, James Gunn. I think you're better than everybody. You're better than a few people. But you're not better than anybody on this channel. Let it be known. James Gunn is not better than anybody on the motherfucking live. Now let's get into this week's quick put down of the lesbian. <sighs> Which makes no sense at all. <sighs> From the very beginning. The worst writing in the world. This guy literally hugs her and doesn't notice she has a tattoo on her forehead. Not only that, but he's a powerful master force user and he doesn't sense that this is not the same little girl. That this is different little girl. You would sense her right away. The aura would be different. Meanwhile, over here, this little chick is being tricked because she actually does have a lot of anger in her. And she's being tricked to use the dark side by this motherfucking Ezra Miller motherfucker. Who has a bunch of scars on his back. He comes out naked. They try to show this guy naked, motherfucker. He's not a shirt. It was showing the fucking... His, his fucking no fucking... Uh, no fucking... Uh, she, no fucking dick. Because they didn't show it, motherfuckers. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but anyways. Fuck you, Disney. Trying to make ass... Uh, this guy, the Jedi, only finds out because the stupid 
midget uh troll whatever it is a uh, uh, rat or whatever tells him and so he zaps her and paralyzes her and shit but he's like he didn't figure it out by himself that dumbass meanwhile this other idiot convinces this other dumbass uh, oh wait, uh, this chick oh this is crazy apparently they're lightsabers that are whips now can you yes Lightsabers are whips. Uh. Oh, oh, it's been canon because somebody wrote it in the High Republic. Fuck your High Republic and shit that Kathleen Kennedy has made, you dicks. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh. It has whips. Fuck that shit. Oh my god. Uh, it ends with this woke little girl putting this helmet on and then breathing like Darth Vader, making the sounds like all oh, trying to be all badass. And, uh, and I'm just like, man, like, this show is. I mean, is this supposed. To, I just want to know. Who the general audience of this show is supposed to be. If this is meant to be for people below the age, like maybe below the age of 12, you know, or 11 or 10, you know, children below, I would understand and completely disregard any of my opinions and give this a pass. If that is their target audience, I don't think that's their target audience. This is bullshit. This is written for idiots or just written by idiots and pieced and put together, edited by idiots. I, I, I can tell you, I'm still like, tell you that I'm not going to diss none of the actors. They're doing, you know, some of them are amateurs, so it's like you could tell, but some of them are pretty good. I don't like this lady at all. Oh, I think this, this lady's, I don't know, she's crazy, but uh, I'm just not invested in this at all. I don't know why they made this. Well, I do know why they made this. It's fucking Kathleen Kennedy and her, oh, you know, I have money and we can do whatever I want because I'm the president and shit. Fuck you, Lesbo. Anyways, let's move on from this ass. I don't like it, but we got to review it every week and subjugate ourselves to ass. We're moving on to spoilers. Because we finally have who the motherfuck Giancarlo D'Esposito uh, has finally been playing in Captain America, the New World Order, or whatever the fuck, Brave Order, or whatever it's going to be called, that they've changed it so many fucking times, it's going to fail because it's a $400 million failure already. Captain America, a brave new world. Giancarlo will play George Washington Bridge. Is what I call it. Or who? I had to go and research. And it's even more ass when I did some research. It didn't make no sense. This guy's just literally some guy who like. Was a task force. Part of S.H.I.E.L.D. To go find Cable. Track him down. Hunt him down and bring him in. That that's what he was meant to go do. He was a badass, kind of like a Nick Fury type of motherfucker. But I don't know. I guess I don't know how they're gonna use him here. He's just a guy, a Nick Fury guy, somebody who they can contract for what? It just seems really, really forced to me. 
Maybe this guy wants vibranium. <sighs> this movie's a big mess. They did say it's like $400 million already in the hole. 400 You would have to make... You would have to make a lot of money to break even. Fuck that. Poor, poor Marvel. They're just digging a bigger grave for themselves. They don't realize it, those idiots. I think... I think that Marvel's biggest downfall in the past five years has not been maybe, yeah, the quality and the, the writing and all this stupid ass shit they've been doing. It plays a big part in it. But honestly, a lot of it has had to come down to the management of the money for these productions, man. You don't need fucking... 400 million dollars to make a movie you don't deadpool the first one proved that you can make a movie with 80 million dollars and and make a billion dollars out of it the joker the same way another small budget fucking made a billion dollars you don't need like fucking 200 million dollars what are you spending the 200 million dollars on you're not spending it on the actors it's crazy man money just gets thrown around at these fucking places like at these productions uh that's what needs to change in hollywood that's my thing but let's get into the last spoilers and it's the best spoilers motherfuckers because it's deadpool Deadpool 3, spoilers, they fucking f screened this, and people saw this for 40 minutes, they said the last was 10 minutes, or the last was like a few minutes of a montage, but they screened 40 minutes of it, including the beginning, which is a little bit of the credits or whatever, but here is basically the gist of the story. Uh, I will start with, with telling you, because we've already fucking shown this, um, that... Where am I? <laughs> oh, here it is. I'm sorry. I gotta, sh I gotta, I had to get to this part. Last week, we did show the resistance, all right? That this is the team that Deadpool, along with the variants that Deadpool's gonna have, the two little boys, the kid pool, the baby, the flying head, and the stupid little dog. This is the other members of their team who are gonna fight Cassandra Nova and the other bad guys. And that's what's gonna happen. But the movie is going to start. I'm just gonna have this in the background and. Sh That was not a firecracker. So the fucking movie is going to start with fucking Deadpool. Uh, with all his friends, they're throwing him a fucking party for his birthday. And then the TVA captures him and they take him away. And they tell them that he's unique because of his ability. And he can break the fourth wall and blah, 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 blah. And that he doesn't die. And they tell him that. His universe is going to die. And he says, why? And he says, because every universe has an anchor, a person. And if that person dies, the universe will slowly disintegrate and die. Because it, sometimes it takes a long time, but, you know, eventually it just happens because that person is the anchor that kept everything together. And in Deadpool's universe, it's Logan. The one from the Fox universe. Because that's where Deadpool is from. And Logan died. Remember in the woods with that little girl. Laura. And so Deadpool's like, well shit, my universe is going to die then. And so yeah, and they tell Deadpool, we're going to give you an option. The option is, do you, we'll let you go back and you can die with your universe. 
Or we can send you to the MCU and put you there because there's this war that's coming and we're going to need you in it. And you need to take your rightful place there. And that's why Deadpool in those scenes, he says, I'm Marvel Jesus and, you know, whatever. And he's making those MCU ju ju jokes or whatever. And, uh, and that from then on, Deadpool pretends he's going to agree to them. But he steals one of their little pads after they give him his new suit. He steals one of their little time pads and he runs away. And that's when we start seeing fucking the variants. And the variants are fucking, you know, this is either Harry Potter or this is Tadjard Edgerton. And they're playing there and it's supposed to be Patch or whatever. We're going to see that. We're going to see them go back to the Logan movie. Because Deadpool goes to visit the corpse of Logan. And it's a dead corpse, you know? But the Adamantian's still there. And when fucking Deadpool gets there, he starts fighting them. He pulls the sticks that were in the body and he starts fighting them with it. And eventually... He, 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 I don't know what happens to his knives. He doesn't have them. And so then Deadpool grabs Logan and rips like his arms and like starts using his body, the adamantium, as weapons against the fucking TVA soldiers to kill them. And that it looks disgusting and shit. I was like, that's fucking crazy. So then eventually Deadpool goes to a universe and he finds the dead, the Wolverine we've been seeing with the yellow suit. And he brings him back and he says, hey, I found this Wolverine and he's perfect. Look at his suit and shit. Uh, let me take him back to my universe. And then Wolverine is not dead anymore. And the universe doesn't have to die. And they tell him, you're an idiot. It doesn't work like that, you dumbass. Like, it's... <laughs> He's you, you, you're an idiot. They just tell him you're a fucking dumbass. And this Wolverine is a loser because he let his whole universe down. Like, so fuck this guy and fuck you. And they zap them both, like, they prune them. And so that's how they end up in the fucking wasteland. And then, from you know, that's pretty much, I think, all they've shown them. Because once they get to the wasteland, from then on. Everything they've shown them is a montage. They said they showed a montage where it's just like clips, snippets of shit from then on. And they said that in one of the fucking snippets. Wolverine versus the Hulk. My God. It's going to happen, folks. I can't believe this is going to happen. This is insane. I don't know which Hulk it's going to be. I hope it's Grey Hulk. I hope I don't know if it's going I don't hope it's not Mark Ruffalo Hulk. It has to be another variant of Hulk. I wonder what it's going to be. If if and if they do anything because this is supposed to be R. If they do anything like Old Man Logan where in the old man Logan story, um, the Hulk eats Logan during their fight. And then once the Hulk thought he won, he starts having gut pains. And then Logan bursts out once he regenerates. And he fucking kills the Hulk once and for all. It's fucking insane. I can't believe, like... This comic book exists. <laughs> um, some old man Logan stuff, man. That's all I'm saying. It's going to happen. I'm really excited for this movie. The spoilers sound real. They sound like they're fucking real. And some of the fucking shit that we've seen earlier that no one's talked about is in one of the... One of the fucking scenes 
in the beginning of the, of the new trailer, there is Lady Deathstrike right behind Cassandra Nova. And she has long nails. And look at her face. She's not Asian. She is not the chick from the last one. She's like, I don't know. It's not the same girl. That's all I'm going to say. She's just another brown skinned girl. She could be anything. She could be Indian, Mexican, Polynesian, Samoan. I don't know. Anything. Mexican. I don't know. A lot of us. A lot of us. Uh, why do they do this? You know what that means? Is that the juggernaut we saw in the background that we were talking about? Is it going to be Ray Stevens? Or whatever the fucking... No, not Ray Stevens. I forget what that guy's name is. Uh, if it's going to be that guy... It's not going to be that fucking guy. It's going to be just another person like that. Oh, just the same frame. We'll just say it's another variant. It's a variant. Fuck you and your variant-ism and shit. Has anyone said anything about why this bald little girl has disgustingly long fingers? I've been seeing her with disgustingly long fingers. And I'm talking about the bald little girl. Not the Lady Deathstrike. Cassandra Nova. Her fingers are fucking long and skinny. And does this little girl, like, is that how her hands are in real life? She's an alien. This little girl's an alien. And this is in Oasians. Yeah. This is insane. I'll tell you what else is insane. The bullshit advertisements that be coming out for this. Here it is. They're just get ready to shit out red and yellow shit for the next fucking two, three months after eating one of these motherfuckers. This. Ch Chimmy Merc burger with chimichanga sauce and extra pickles and lettuce and ass and shit for you to eat. You, or or a, a bacon claw cheeseburger with fucking sesame, black sesame seed and yellow buns and shit with extra cheese and bacon and shit. Give you an arteries. Yeah, yeah. Feeding your arteries. The best Bud's Burger. Fucking shit. I should have fucking copyrighted that ass. They took it from me. God damn it. Double the trouble. Double the flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double the price, too. Son of a bitch. They don't mention how much it costs. The motherfucking 14 bucks for each of those motherfuckers. And they're not even big. They're just... It's the same size as the regular ones and shit. So they give you the shitty buns. They give you the buns that's going to waste. And that's why they change color like that. Fuck you. They've been there for a year or two. In the freezer. That's the only reason they change color and shit. Y'all motherfuckers. Buying his ass. Oh. All right. I am done. I'm done ranting. I'm done shitting around. I'm done fucking around. And all this bullshit. I'm just gonna leave you guys with some life advice to take home for the evening. Life advice. Uh, everyone uh, who hasn't seen this should know. Uh, and that is... Uh, Uh, drink a lot of water, right? Gotta stay healthy. You gotta drink water and not get dehydrated in the hot sun right now. It's really hot outside. We're just experiencing some heat. We haven't even rained enough. We need to rain some more. I keep telling you people, drink some water. Your body's made out of water. Go swim, take a shower, surround yourself in it. 
Splash around, live with it. Water is your friend. Life advice. Water. Cheers. I'll see you next week. Oh, yeah. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?